Now, as this week began, the big news around the hockey world, the thing everybody was talking about was that mammoth event known as the World Hockey Association Player Draft. The process took up the entire weekend, beginning with what they called something like priority negotiating selections on Friday, followed by two days of tedious calling out names, both famous and obscure. We're going to provide a summary of the weekend's events uh, in our up WHA update later in the show, and we plan a very detailed look at uh, these basically founding days of the WHA in an upcoming overtime session for our Patreon subscribers. So if you really want to get into uh, the detailed information on the league's early days, once again, patreon.com slash hockey 50 years, and uh, you'll get access to all this great information, stuff that's uh, really not out there in, in the mainstream of these days. So we will talk about the draft a little later. Now, the other big news that was floating around the hockey world on Monday also involved the World Hockey Association as well. And we do want to talk about that right off the bat. Many hockey news sources at this point in time were carrying the story about Toronto goalkeeper Bernie Perrant, a 26-year-old premier NHL netminder, by the way. Uh, Bernie had apparently, according to most reports, agreed to a three-year contract with the WHA team known at that point as the Miami Screaming Eagles. And the Toronto Globe and Mail had a story from that morning. No byline on this story, by the way. So I think it's uh, Dan Proudfoot, but we can't be 100% sure. But we're going to give you the... uh, the first bit of this story as it was reported. Bernie Pratt rapidly became the player of prime focal interest in professional hockey on Sunday as the New World Hockey Association completed its draft of 888 players for its 12 clubs. And you're going to find, by the way, as we talk about the draft, everybody had a different total. So I, 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 Report as as it was reported then. I don't claim to be completely accurate because there's so many conflicting sources. Now, there were several developments, including a warning from National Hockey League President Clarence Campbell about, quote, violation of contract. Friday night, several WHA executives, while declining to uh, let their names be used, insisted that Leafs goalie Perrant had signed with the Screaming Eagles. Perrant's lawyer, Howard Casper of Philadelphia, a quintessential Philadelphia lawyer, so to speak, had been negotiating with the Miami club for several weeks, and Gardens president, Harold Ballard, wished the goalie luck if he could get six hundred grand up front and in the bank. Well, Sunday night, Casper, in a telephone interview from Philadelphia, would neither confirm nor deny that Perron had signed, but he insisted the goalie had been offered about three quarters of a million dollars for a five-year contract. And that, Casper said, that figure was just for playing. Casper went on to say, I'll tell you this much. Everything will be guaranteed if Bernie goes with the Miami club. And there are other ways to guarantee a deal rather than have the money put in the bank. Asked about a rumor that Perrant had already uh, received 250 grand uh, from uh, the Miami club and that it's in the bank. Casper replied, no, but the offer is three times that amount. Casper also said he was negotiating for other Toronto players who might sign with the WHA, and some of the names would make your eyes pop. Casper said if Perrant goes to Miami, he will be one of the top five money-making athletes in professional sports. Casper would not name the other Toronto players he's representing, but he did say they are among the 30 or 35 in the NHL for whom I am negotiating. Meanwhile, Campbell, Clarence Campbell, is ready to cancel Perrant's ticket to Miami. Campbell came right out and said there's no way that he can leave the NHL. We have options in our contract, and he has a contract, so that's it. It's an enforceable contract. Now, remember Clarence Campbell's word here 
about an enforceable contract as time goes on over the next couple of weeks because those words will come back and they will take a big chunk in a bite out of Clarence Campbell's ass as we find out how things actually did unfold. Now, later in the week, this wasn't resolved, by the way, this week, but later in the week, Stan Fischler, in one of his missives to the Toronto Star, said that the Maple Leafs might trade Perrant back to the Flyers uh, in exchange for Doug Favelle and possibly another player or two, just to keep him moving, keep him from moving to the rival league. Now, I believe we might have talked about this earlier. Philadelphia players had already talked about or Philadelphia newspapers, sorry, had already talked about the possibility of the lease moving Bernie back to the Flyers. The news kept coming out that Bernie's wife was not happy in Toronto. She's a Philadelphia girl, and Bernie would love to get back there. Of course, moving to Miami solves none of that apparent uh, roadblock to Bernie enjoying life in Toronto. Would he enjoy it more in the sunny south of Miami? Well, maybe they would. I don't know. A little bit more hybrid NHL WHA news uh, came out Monday, and that was Bobby Hall. He confirmed to the Canadian press that the Winnipeg Jets owner Ben Hatskin had indeed offered him a five-year contract worth a million dollars. Uh, the story from Canadian press said that a Hawk star Bobby Hall confirmed that he had the offer in hand from Ben Haskin and that the owner of the Jets had offered him a contract during a meeting they had in Vancouver when the Chicago club was visiting the Canucks. Bobby said he didn't comment when Haskin first made the offer public because, quote, I didn't want my name to be used to cause a lot of fuss and draw attention away from his NHL Blackhawks. So Bobby Hull definitely does get an offer, but it remained to be seen just how valid this would be or if Chicago or if Chicago would uh, attempt to somehow keep Bobby under contract. This was another story like the Perrant story that was starting to gain some legs, and we wondered whether it would be Perrant, Bobby Hull, Derek, Sander, or Derek Sanderson, or maybe someone else is the first player to take that leap of faith to the other league. <laughs> 